Hello and welcome back to this video tutorial series on learning to build an open simulator. I'm Michael Bailey with Avacon and I'm also known in various virtual worlds as Marcus Llewellyn. One of the most enjoyable things to do in open simulator is to build your own environment. The interface building tools are available in world for everyone to use. Your creations can be saved, shared, modified, and even bought and sold. Learning how to build can seem intimidating at first, but don't worry. Beginning with this mission, you will learn how, step by step. Every object you see in Open Simulator, from a common cube to the most amazing vehicle or building, has been built or created using tools in world that are available to you. In this mission, you will learn how to find a place to build and to create basic shapes called primitives or PRIMS for short. In Open Simulator, you may build only in certain areas. You can build on land you own, or you can build on land owned by a group you belong to, or on land owned by a person or group that has given you the rights to build on their land. Finally, you can build in sandboxes, which is land set aside just for building. You can check the building permissions of the land you're on in several ways. In the viewer, look at the top of your screen and look for a cube icon with a red circle. If you see this icon, this indicates that you cannot build where you're located and you'll have to move somewhere else. The basic building block in Open Simulator is called a prim, which is short for primitive. Creating or making something appear is known as resing. To res a prim, hit Ctrl B on your keyboard to open the edit window. You will see that your mouse cursor has turned into a wand. Click on the ground where you would like your prim to appear or res. By default, you will see a plywood cube appear. You're not limited to cubes. In fact, you can choose to res several shapes to use in your building. If you look in your edit window, you will see at the top an icon that looks like a wand. This icon is called Create. Let's click on it. At the top of your edit window, you will now see that there are many shapes available for you to choose from. You can click on a shape and left click on the ground to res it. Go ahead and try resing many different shapes. It is important to leave room for others to build. When you are through resing prims, right click or command click on a prim, choose more from the menu, and then choose delete. This will get rid of the prim. Go ahead and try this with the rest of the prims you've resed. Congratulations, you can make building blocks. However, just as with regular building blocks, you will need to learn how to move them around to create complex objects. Open Simulator offers two primary ways to move and rotate objects. You can drag an object around and just eyeball it where you want it, or if you want, you can use numbers to place it exactly where you want it to go. Although you may find you prefer one way more than the other, a good builder knows both. Let's start by resing a cube near you. Open your build window and res a cube. You will see blue, green, and red directional arrows showing the X, Y, and Z axes. Red is the X axis. Green is the Y axis and blue is the z-axis. If you place your pointer over the head or tail of an arrow, you'll see it glow more brightly. 
Click and hold to drag your cube along that axis. Let's try the x-axis first. You might have to try a few times to get it right, so be patient and point with precision. Also, keep in mind that you can change your camera angle to get a better view of the cube to make things easier. Practice moving your prim along each axis. You can also try moving your cube using the two colored arrow if one is visible and this allows you to drag the prim around diagonally. A prim's position can be described mathematically using a number for each axis. The number represents exactly where a prim is located on a sector of land called a sim, which stands for a simulator, or is sometimes called a region or an island in Open Simulator. To see the position of a prim, right click on an existing prim and choose Edit. This will open your edit window. When you want to line objects up exactly, building by the numbers is very helpful. You can see those numbers in the edit window by choosing the object tab and then looking at position. You can use these position text boxes to change the position of your prim. You can either type in a number or use the up down arrows to the left of each number. Use the up-down arrows to the left of each number to slightly adjust the position of your object. Notice how far an object moves using only small adjustments. Depending on the axis you choose, your prim will move the following way. X, which is the red axis, will move east and west. Green, which is the y-axis, will move north or south. And Z, which is the blue one, moves up or down. Remember, if you decide to type in a new number, make only small changes at first. If you drastically change an object's position, you may not be able to find it easily. To rotate a cube, make sure you're in edit mode. If you don't see any colored arrows, right click on the prim and choose edit. This will open your edit menu. To rotate, hold down your control key and you'll see your arrows turn into colored rings. If you drag on any of these rings while holding down your control key, you can see that you can rotate the prim. Just as you can adjust the movement of a cube using numbers, you can do the same thing with rotation. In your edit window, on the object tab, look toward the bottom for three text boxes. These are rotation text boxes. Using the arrow keys on the left, you can rotate your prim. Go ahead and practice. Make sure to practice by using both the arrow keys and by using the circles. Make sure to get it just how you want it. And now you've seen some basic shapes that you can res. And you learned how to move these shapes and how to rotate them.
just using the shapes you know. Can you make an ice cream cone? What else can you make? Now that you've seen all the different types of prims that you have to work with and you've learned how to move them and rotate them, it's time to learn how to change their size. You can resize a prim to be larger or smaller. You can also change a prim just, just by changing one dimension of it. For example, you can begin with a cube and stretch it out into a rectangle. Just like moving and rotating a prim, you can either eyeball a prim's shape and size or you can resize it mathematically. This lesson will teach you how to do both. Let's start by resing a cube and let's move our camera so we can get a better look at it. Now, press Control Shift and you will see that the arrows have disappeared. On each face of the prim, you will see colored cubes and you will see white cubes on each corner of the prim. To stretch in a particular dimension, click and drag on one of the cubes. To stretch the entire prim proportionally, use one of the white cubes on the corners. You can also resize a prim mathematically. In your edit window and the object tab, Towards the middle, you will see three text boxes that have a size for each axis. By using the arrow keys, you can resize your prim in any direction you want. Other shapes resize in different ways. Practice resizing different shapes to see how it works for them. Now you can stretch and make shapes of different sizes. Can you put them together to make a more complex shape? A uh, snowman, for example? Take some time to create something that takes several prims. You can move prims so they are partially inside each other to create really interesting shapes. When you are done experimenting, make sure to take a few minutes to clean up. And that concludes this video tutorial. Join us in our next tutorial where we'll learn how to link shapes together to create more complex objects. Until then, have fun building and thank you for watching.